Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tutor, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to take glass from Substance Painter into the Unreal Engine 4. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is click on File, click Export Textures, go to Configuration, and you'll see down at the bottom Unreal Engine 4 pack. Click on there. I have a missive in here, you won't be needing it. The next thing you'll need to look at is the base color and you can see we have an RGB channel but also we have the opacity channel so the opacity is basically packed in to the base color. The next uh, one down is RGB where the occlusion, the roughness and metallic are all packed into the same texture. If we hover over the red channel you can see it says ambient occlusion. Hover over the green you can see it says roughness. Hover over the blue and you can see it's metallic. This is important because you can always go back to here and look exactly which channel needs to go where with an Unreal Engine itself. So, all we need to do now is export out our textures, set the document size, set the file where it's going to go to, and click export. So, here we are in Unreal. I've imported my textures and my mesh. We'll just delete those materials, we don't need those. So the first thing we need to do is double click on the mixed texture. I'll just drag it across. And you can see here there's an option for SRGB. If we're using opacity, we need to make sure this is unticked. So untick it. Click save and close that down. Okay, drag our mesh out, create a new material, double click the material, drag the three textures in, Uh, click on this node and click where it says blend mode and put that down to translucent. Now you'll notice that all these are greyed out at the moment. That's because we just need to change one more thing. Where it says lighting mode, volumetric, non-directional. Change that to surface translucency volume. And now you'll see that back. Okay, so this is our color texture with the opacity. So we'll take the, the first node and put it in the base color. Then this is the opacity node, we'll take that and put it in opacity. Take the normal map, put that in there. Now this is the three channels I was talking about earlier. If you're unsure where these go, go back into Substance Painter and just hover over the channels and it will tell you which one goes in where. So the red goes in ambient occlusion, the green goes in the roughness channel, and the blue goes in metallic. Okay, hit apply. Hit save. Okay, close that down, we don't need that. And now we can just drag and drop our material onto our mesh. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hope that helped you. Bye bye.